Hey guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 9 of Carol and Tuesday, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So, you're, you're basically telling me, they only took this off for episode 8, and then they're bringing it back in. It's kind of weird, though. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to just size up the competition. Yeah. So you got him, FFK Twigs, and who else is performing today?
Well, Angela ain't performing until next week, though. No, not till next week. Jesus. Why don't you just go to him directly? I mean, not to be a bitch, but... Oh! I'm so Angela actually performing this week. <laughs> Heck, she even sound like a very Damn. Yeah, that's definitely FAK Twigs movement right there. Her voice is kind of like, um, a little bit of, yes, F.A.K. Twig and, um, Lord and kind of a little bit of Alicia Keys. No. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. But I mean, why is there like four people, but only three? Yes, thank you. My God. Ugh. Go home. Ugh. Yeah, bye bye. Go away. Okay. I just want to know if you being. Did you just bite? See, I, I don't trust her. You still have to be related to Mr. Tao because how you look like him. Mm mm. Down in the dressing room. They do. No. That's it? Nothing else? Oh, Carol and Tuesday and not really you. She got problems. Mm -hmm. That bite.
Cody, what are you doing? Interesting. That's an hour door. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if Angela won. Yeah. Cody. Told you.
I mean, hell, she got a voice. That's the thing. A good-ass voice. But, I, I mean, it's just going to be a competition. It really still is a competition between writing and then having people do it for you. I mean, technically, really, AIs. So, and again, what the fuck is going to be better, an AI or actually sitting down and taking the time to write out your songs? But, I don't know. I mean, like, we all kind of know it's going to be Carol and Tuesday who's going to win this. And Angela's going to come in second, and then probably FIK Twigs is going to come in third, and then whoever else made it. Oh, what's his face? The guy. The guy. Because he's the only person. He's the only guy who made it. Um, he'll probably be, like, either in third and fourth. Or it could just be, like, Carolyn Tuesday, Angela, the guy, FIK Twigs, or GGK. But, um, yeah. It was a good episode. Both songs were good. Um, I, I don't know what to say about the mermaid sisters. That was just a story of on all on its own. That's all I gotta say about that. I was not expecting them to say that in their song, to have a song about that. And just like 10 out of 10 would have recommend I bet you that's probably gonna be the best song ever on the freaking soundtrack. Everybody's gonna play that song over and over again if it makes it to the soundtrack. But I mean, the one thing that I kind of like, and it's not even a hate, it's more of a dislike with this song, with Angela's song, FK Twig song. Bell song, who's now freaking pissed. Cody! Um, pissed at, um, uh, Tuesday and such. They're, they're gonna, for, for television, they have to make it, like, a minute long. So, especially with Dude's song last week, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, once this album comes out, and I'm thinking it's gonna be out, maybe, like, the first half might be out, like, next month, and then the second half, or all the shows, <laughs> I'm not the all the shows, Every single song will be out by the time this show is over. So probably about, like, in the beginning of August, September, maybe, almost, like, before summer ends. We'll have all the songs. I mean, Kiss Me and uh, Hold Me Now came out last week, and I bought those. And it's just, you know, you, you just want more, but you can't have more. And you're just like, I, I don't want to hear, like, a minute and 30 seconds of half of this song i want to hear the full dang song from beginning to end and hear different verses because you know with dude who did who sang last week he was repeating the same thing over and over again and then you got the ggk girl she was kind of doing that as well and i'm so i'm like okay i'm like they can't really do the full dang song because you know they have it's like time consuming you know this is like a 22 episode i mean i'm not a 22 episode a 22 minute episode so you can't have everything of a full song and you have to kind of wait to see how the rest of it's gonna go and i'm like how long do i have to wait i just want to hear the damn song from beginning to end so but it was good i think probably my favorite song is probably angela's song out of the two i do like the uh ggk song because it did remind me a little bit of um fak twigs herself and then a little bit of lord because i'm like the <laughs> i'm a big lord fan and lord is just like her music is but then a little teeny tiny bit like five percent of a little bit of alicia keys in it i don't know why and then i don't know what angela angela just her song reminded me typically of any not bubblegum pop but typical just regular old pop like sounded kind of a little bit like uh maybe before the way miley cyrus is currently as she's going now uh, I would maybe say a little bit of, like, Katy Perry-ish, mature. Um, nothing like really Call Me Maybe, because Call Me Maybe is a bubblegum pop song. So I would say, I'm trying to think of, like, any other songs that I like. I don't know. But I was, like, really expecting, and I'm hoping maybe in the next few weeks we get to, like, at least have, like, a band, a full band, that could do, like, something as, like, Paramore, because I, I at least want one one artist in the group, or a group in this series to be together and have it have, like, a really nice rock. Because, like, we have, we're getting into different genres. We just went into, like, R&B and hip-hop. We just did the pop. Um, lore, I mean, like, FAQ Twits will still be considered pop in a way, but I'm still over here waiting for, like, we've already did, like, technically hip-hop a little bit. Um... I'm still waiting for, like, a really hard rap, and 
hope believe that'll come soon. I mean, a lot of people will say that happened last week with Dude. But I'm like, mm, yes and a little bit of no. But, uh, like I said, a little bit of rock alternative, a little bit of rapper hip-hop. Um, country, maybe? I don't know. Because I feel like with with this show and with the singing, it's a little bit of everything. That's the thing. So it's like you want a little bit of everything. I wouldn't be surprised if they had someone who kind of looked like um, P. Diddy in this show. Because you, you have characters who look like real people. Like, you know, GGK. Looks like FAK Twigs. Um, that's the only one that I really can tell. I don't know who the Mermaid Sisters would be. But, like I said, if someone had... If there was a P. Diddy, if there was a Snoop Dogg, a Jay-Z, a Beyonce... Well, technically, we have our Beyonce, because that's Crystal. Um, if there was, like, any... If you think of any big, big artist and just imagine them as an anime character, then it's possibly going to happen. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Carol and Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Mattress Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next Thursday for episode 10. Bye, guys!